this team could obviously lose one non-conference game right out of the gate. Could shoot, they could lose it by 50 points, but it doesn't affect the Pac-12. Not not technically, psychologically, maybe like we discussed off the top. You get into Pac-12 play because of the new format. I don't know how that necessarily. I know the technicalities of how it changes uh, who uh, will participate in the conference championship game. But is it safe to say that uh, regardless of what the record is, if there's a Pac-12 championship at the end of the season, that's a successful season. Or maybe 9-3 and three with a Pac-12 championship game appearance, even if they don't complete the deal and win that game. Where, where do we stand on reasonable expectations? What is a good season? You have too much talent to go nine and three and just make a conference title game. Yeah, I know there's other good teams, and I know you're replacing a lot, but to to lose three games and then lose the conference title game is what you were saying. So end up nine and four. You got to be able to win more games than that. Like I, I know we do have Georgia on the schedule, we do have BYU on the schedule, we have some of our toughest conference games are at home, though. And you got to be able to pull off one of those tough out of conference games with the amount of talent you have on the roster. You have a top ten talented roster, at least. Assuming so, based off of last year's talent composite and everything, uh, you got to be able to pull off one of those games. And if most of your toughest conference games are at home, there's no way you should be ending the season before the bowl game with four losses. How are you? How are you feeling if it if it's nine and three with the conference championship win though? Is that so work? if you if you're if you're ten and three and then you go into the bowl, it, that would depend on how you show up in the bowl game. If you get smoked in a bowl game, it's like, uh, but yeah, ten and three would be much better than a nine and th- or a nine and four. Because that's, by the way, that's what I predicted preseason was nine and three with the Pac-12 championship win. That was what I predicted. And I had eight, be, eight and one in conference games. That'd be more amenable. All right. So you, you think you think they'll lose to BYU? That's what I had. That's that's what I, I do these, and it's always stupid because then I have to kind of like bite my tongue if they win all these games. But I, I in in May I predicted they would lose to Georgia, BYU, and Utah. I mean, I, I don't think that's crazy to think about. I, I, I said that the Duck fans better be prepared for it because it could definitely happen. I don't think any Pac-12 team really thought they were going to lose uh, to BYU last year. And BYU handled most of them pretty handily. And I, I, BYU is just a different animal. I mean, it, 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 they're a completely different team. They're a couple years older than a lot of guys. Uh, they play good football. I mean, Kalani Sataki was on the list for the coaching staff here, right? So they, I, I, I still think Oregon beats uh, BYU, but I, th- I think it's going to be a hell of a game. Yeah, there was a lot of different context behind some of their Pac-12 wins last year. I think they beat Utah before Utah replaced their quarterback. I mean, uh, there was true. There was some Arizona, different stuff behind it. I mean, I, I, I plus it. I their players it. are like thirty-five, so not a couple years older. They go on mission trips for like a decade and come back. BYU had, uh, I think, more wins than seven of the conference Pac-12 yeah. conference teams. Yeah. The they're yeah. five and zero oh last year against the Pac-12, so they they would have finished like fifth in the conference on those five wins. I still not too, too scared of them. Yeah, I also think you know they're going to have their hands full with Utah. I think it, I think a lot depends on that Utah game. Talk about how the Duck fans feel if the Ducks get blown out by Utah again at the end of the year. I, I think that leaves a super sour taste in your mouth. So I think if the Ducks rebound and beat Utah at the end of the year, that that that'll do a lot, regardless of the record. What if what if uh, seeking hypotheticals? What if, what if they lose to Utah at home, but they beat Utah in the conference championship game a couple of <laughs> years? So like, what should have happened last year? Yes, <laughs> it should have split it with the talents on the teams, but that would work, right? Uh, it's Dude, still hey, it's as still long as hard. You get them. As long as you get them, yeah, least. you got to beat them once. You got to beat them once. Oh lord, that's yeah, zero and four against Utah over the course of two years. What's yeah. that would that'd be hard. Go Portland State. Switch, switch it over. Right. 